Good evening, Cersei High School. I'm Sydney Bryant here with Noah Summerland. And tonight we will be watching the Pine Bluff Zebras take on the Cersei High Lions. That is absolutely correct. The Zebras are favored by 14 points tonight over the Cersei Lions. Yeah, it should be a really great game match with the 6A defending state championships against the Lions 5-1 season. That's correct. The captains for tonight's game are Fisher, uh, Darius Whitney, and Jackson Hall. And then for Pine Bluff, number one, si Simon Blair, number 31, Isaiah Singleton, number 11, Xavier Smith, and number 67, da 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 Damon Sizzison. And the Zebra Marching Band is in, heading into the stadium. They're going to give our Lions some tough competition tonight in the music section, that's for sure. The bands are about the same size. Halftime should be a great show with these two bands. I hope so. They are definitely very loud. So uh, far, you want me to do the plays and you put it what? They have male cheerleaders also. Something you don't see very often. No, it's not. Noah. <laughs> With two and a half minutes left till the game starts, the coin toss is going on in the middle of the field. I think this is the largest band from an opposing team in Lions Stadium. I believe so. We have not seen one this big since last season against one other team we were playing. Great insight on that fact. The, the Zebras won the toss and we received the ball first in the game. So the Lions will receive the ball at the start of the second half. Our captains are running back to the helmet, ready to run out on the field to play a great game tonight. And the Lions are swaying back and forth, ready to come in to bust out the helmet. Tonight's game is very anticipated. And here come the Lions, busting out of the helmet. And here come the Zebras stampeding out of their huddle. Tonight's cheerleaders are decked out in pink in support of Breast Cancer Awareness Month this October. So you see our players wearing pink socks, pink face paint, pink gloves, all decked out to show our support. Tonight's game is very anticipated. The Lions have a great record fighting against these former state champions who have had a decent season as well. between the two bands going on. Should be a great night. Most definitely. They're both playing at the same time, going back and forth. And if I do say so, not being biased, but the Lions sound so much better than they do. I agree, just yeah. because we're from Cersei. Tonight we have some of the Harding Bison band members coming to play along with our Cersei Lions, so it should sound especially good tonight. Number 14, Peyton Wright, will be out for the initial kickoff of the game. Number 27 for the Zebras, Deandra Ellison, will be back for the kick return. Back for the fighting Zebras, number 22, Jeremy Thompson. Correction, number 22, Jeremy Thompson is out in the backfield for the Zebras. <laughs> Check your facts next time, Noah. His number was hard to read. 
the last number is a two. <laughs> Breaking off for the Lions is number 14, Payton Wright. And, and here goes the kickoff. Lands just on the inside of the 10. And will be a flag. First play of the game will be a flag for a free kick out of bounds. There is a flag on the kickoff. As we all know, you cannot kick the ball out of bounds on the initial kickoff of the game. You do not want to do that. So the Zebras will receive the ball on the 35-yard line. Some key players for the Lions defense, number 24, Jackson Hall, who has had a spectacular, spectacular season this year, and also number 67, Flav Carpenter. Flav Carpenter, I would say, is probably one of the fan favorites. Oh, I would say so. You hear so much support going on for him in the Football student section. Line. Also, Captain Dearis Whitney's on the field. Yes, we had him on our, on our own installment of Lion TV this week, and he projects this game to be one of the best. Another flag, flag on the play. The quarterback for the Zebras is number one, Simeon Blair. There's a flag on the play. Oh. False start on the offense. False start. Against the Zebras. He backed up five yards for the first and 15. Blair will line up in shotgun with his halfback behind him. Two wide receivers out to the right. Snap a handoff to the halfback who finds the hole up the middle and make it down around the 40 yard line. Number four, Braylon Moody with the 10 yard run. On the run, tackled by number 44. The area is second down and five. It'll be second down and five on the zero 40 yard line. Blair and Moody. Back, takes a snap, fake handoff, firing it down deep, and it will be completed to number 11, who gets the first down. Number 11, Xavier Smith on the reception. Okay, center is game on And Connor Collins for the Lions in on that tackle. It'll be first and 10 for the Zebras. And the snap. Be a handoff to number four, who finds a big hole up the middle. And he fumbles oh. the ball, but there is a flag on the play. The Lions do recover the ball, but there is a flag. And the stands are going crazy. We can only hope that this ball goes to our Lions tonight. Well, great play by the Lions defense to force that fumble. And there will be no flag on the play. The ball will go to the Cersei Lions. So once again, number 17, Mason Shucker and his Lions offense come out to the field. They will take over the ball on the 32-yard line. First and 10 for your Cersei Key players to the offense are number 73, Peyton Fisher, and Trenton Turner, Cameron Washington, and Trevor Rayburn. Cameron Washington gets the ball and is met at the line of scrimmage. Well, Cameron, Cameron Washington, Washington has had an extraordinary season this year. Yes, he has. I expect great things to come from him this season, and hopefully a sco college scholarship by the end of the season, hopefully. He's worked so hard, and it's off time. I don't see how it couldn't happen. Second down and eight. It'll be second and eight on the 34 for the Lions. Shucker will be in shotgun. Takes a snap. Fires deep uh -oh. and will be incomplete intended for number 27, Tim Williams. Will end up in third down for the Lions. They are pinned deep in their own territory on the 34 yard line. Well, it sounds like the Zebras band just took a break to let our Lions play their hearts out tonight. It'll be third and eight for the Lions. Number one in motion. Hand off to number seven, Cameron Washington, who finds the first down. Cameron Washington, number seven, number 13. Tackled by number 
10, Antonio Snow. That's a first down for York. Well, tonight we are streaming live on our website. You can find us at www.linepress.com. Click on the Watch Us Now logo and click on the live broadcast link. Oh, number seven, Kev. Yeah, and the ball seven, is going Justin around. Justin Osborne fumbled the ball. The Zebras recovered it. And number three, number Braden 31. Noble number recovers it. Oh, I thought it was it's number three. Well, the Zebras recover it just on the 15-yard line. Hold on, boy. Not looking good for our Lions on this run. Well, that was a very confusing play. The ball went back and forth between players and ends up in the hands of Isaiah Singleton, who gets the ball for the Zebras on the 13-yard line. Justin Osborne just couldn't get after it then, folks. I mean, he didn't know whether he was going to grab it or whether he was just going to let it roll. So both offenses have turned the ball over once in the first quarter. Nine minutes and 51 seconds left to go, so we'll see where the rest of the game takes us. Blair will, will be in the game once again as quarterback. It will be a quarterback read, and he takes the ball to around the six-yard line. He's brought down by number 49, Blair, Darius Gavin. Tackle by number 49, Darius Gavin. Second down and three. It'll be second and three on the six yard line for the Zebras. The Zebras are in great field position due to that Lions offensive fumble. And if anything, even if they don't get a touchdown, they're in perfect field goal range. Yes, that'll be a great second option for them. Number one takes a snap and will touchdown, find the end Zebras. zone for a Zebras touchdown. Number one. Simon Blair on the quarterback keeper will score the touchdown for the Zebras. Simeon. Simeon Blair, not Simon. And the Zebras will strike first here tonight, scoring on a quarterback keeper. And the Zebras will be going for the two-point conversion. Once again, a quarterback keeper, Simeon and he will find the, the end zone conversion. once again for a completed two-point conversion. Man, if our defense can't step up and form a line, their quarterback's just going to run all over them tonight. Cersei does need to think of a way to stop him. Will the Zebras take an eight-point lead in the first quarter? And the Zebra band is going crazy. Although a little squeaky, I think. They need to tune something down. One of their instruments are very high pitched. Somebody needs to tune it. <laughs> no, that was hilarious. About? Oh, no. That's all they said. Did Jessica say that? Yeah. She said it. <laughs> Me? Oh, and they're laughing. Stop, my finger's on the knife. What? Can we get. Stop. Oh, it's on the market. Oh, wait, wait. Number 24, Jackson Hall, and number three, Tony Young, will be back for the kick return. And we have number six, Delvin Smith, going in for the kick for the Zebras. Maybe they won't kick it out of bounds. And the kick is away. Number three, Young, takes brought the ball. Brought down at the 15-yard line. We're brought down. Well, the Lion offense comes back on the field, hoping to score and not give up another turnover. If only, just get after the ball. That's all they can do. Complete their passes and make sure they don't let anything loose. The ball will be placed at the 16-yard line of the Lion. Cameron Washington comes back on the field as halfback. Will the Lions go for the handoff or will they stick to the pass? 
And it will be a pass to number 12, Trevor Rayburn, who, who catches the ball and will get the first 30. down at the 30 yard line. I already see such improvement from last week's game against Marion. They, their offense just couldn't get it together last week. The Lions have definitely come here to play tonight as they're playing the former six-day Arkansas State champions. It'll be first and 10 on the 30 for the Lions. Shucker will take the snap, hand off to Washington once again, who will gain about a couple, a couple two yards. <laughs> For you folks at home, you're lucky you can't hear the zebra band. Man. Anybody that knows how to tune an instrument, please let them know. Well, number one will be in motion, and it will be handed Hand off, off to, to number one. Trenton Turner. Who tries to find a way around the zebra Runs out defense. of bounds at the 33-yard line. But we'll only pick up a couple yards. Mason Shucker showing his awareness for breast month with pink gloves or pink wristbands, pink socks, pink tape around his shoes and a pink towel wrapped around his waist. Takes a snap, looking for the pass downfield. Finds number, number one, one Trenton Tr Turner who drops the ball for an incomplete pass. Well, that will result in fourth down for the Lions. If anything, Trent just needs to keep his head on and not let his anger get to his head. He gets so aggravated that his mind just comes out of the game, and he needs to stay focused. This is a key game for the Lions game for the Lions tonight. If the Lions do win this game, it will be very impressive. Indeed, in six in one season, one step closer to state championship. Well, of course, the battle of the bands is going on right now. Both bands playing. Cersei High doesn't get that opportunity much. Shucker's looking downfield, will be tipped and almost intercepted by the Zebra secondary and it will fall incomplete and the Lions will turn the ball over on their own 33 yard line. Well this isn't looking too good for this next Zebra run. Maybe our defense can tighten up and keep them from running it all over them. Well in my opinion, I did not think it was a very smart choice to go for it on fourth down inside your own territory. That's true, that's true. Not very smart move on their part. They should have punted it away. Especially with the Zebra offense, yeah, who is looking just... like they can run all over the lines defense Definitely. tonight. Maybe we'll see some passing from them this time, but very unlikely. If it's working for them now, they shouldn't move. Number five, Williams is, is in the game. Num number 11, Xavier Smith completed for uh, about a five yard run. Well, the Lions defense needs to step up and find a way to stop the Zebras from gaining yards. The Zebras have proven they can run, but let's just hope they don't pass the ball as well as they, you know, run. Blair is in shotgun and will hand it off to his wide receiver. Hand who off tries to find a way around line defense, and he does, and he will be brought down at around the 10 yard line. That was number 22, Jeremy Thompson. But once again, the Lions can't stop the run. No, they can't. Something needs to go on. Our defensive coaches just need to look at those plays and figure out what they need to fix. Last week, the Lions couldn't stop the run. And it looks like tonight, they're having the same problems. Yeah, they, Darius Whitney let us know they were watching plenty of film and trying to like finish their game up, but maybe we'll see some more of that later on in the game. Well, Blair will be in shotgun with three wide receivers out and his halfback in the backfield. And he's the going for a half quarterback run oh, once again. Oh, and our defense brought him down that time, about on the 13-yard line. That was good. First thing we've seen out of our defense. Blair, number one, quarterback keeper. It'll be second down on the eight-yard line for the Zebras. And Ben Donnell, second down and eight. He's looking for a pass, oh. and will, the receiver will drop 
the pass as he was wide open in the end zone. Incomplete pass to Michael Johnson. It'll be third and ten. He'll hand it off to number five, who is. Oh, it'll be a fumble! He picked up the fumble! He's going down the field! To the 50, the 40, 30, 20, 10, touchdown! Lions, number 24, Jackson Hall on the fumble recovery, and he will score the first touchdown of the game for the Lions. Wow, that was so impressive of our Lions offense. Who would have thought that could have happened? Oh, there's a flag. My guess, excessive celebration. <laughs> I would believe it. The Lions are so excited, and I don't blame them. Well, that is two turnovers from the Zebra offense in the first quarter. And one resulted from a touchdown. That's looking pretty good. And here's the head referee to tell us what the flag is for. Um, someone we don't give much credit to, our wonderful ball boys down there, always keeping the game going. Touchdown is good. And the touchdown will stand. Sideline warning against the Lions. Oh, sideline warning. Our players need to watch that. We don't need something as silly as that keeping them from the game. My guess is that they're so excited about that very long fumble. And the Lions will be going for two to try and tie the score. Oh, if not, this could be, prove to be a critical point in the game. Shucker. Close Shucker at number, to number one. one hey, Turner catches, catches the ball. The point conversion, but there is a flag on the play. And it will be good, but once again, a flag is on the play. And if anything, that should help boost uh, Turner's confidence for this game tonight and help him keep his head level. My guess will be pass interference. Yes. Indeed. Y'all should have saw that play. If you saw that play at home, well, that was amazing. He fumbled it in his hands and went down and caught it. It's not a better play to, way to end that play. Always practice the tip at, during practice. They do. You never know it. when you're going to need it. One player will throw it up, the other will jump up there and tip it, and the other one will have to dive and catch it. And I can see they've been improving on that. Well, the flag will be for, be for holding on the Zebra defense, so the two-point conversion will stand. So the score now is 8-8 eight to eight with 6 minutes and 23 seconds left in the first quarter. Well, this game certainly got a whole lot more exciting. Our band is quieting down to let the Zebras play. And right now, that instrument that needs tune is not playing, so it's quite decent. But when the bands are playing at the same time, it is very loud and very hard to hear. Very harsh on one's ears. Feel sorry for the football players. They're caught in the middle of it. <laughs> Maybe that's the problem with our Cersei Lions defense. Well, once again, everyone tonight is decked out in their pink to show support for breast cancer awareness. Yeah, our student section looks very pink tonight. We see tutus and feather boas and hats and socks. Great to see all of our students out here to show their support. Definitely. It's always great to have students being aware of breast cancer. When play resumes, the ball will be kicked off from the 50-yard line. That's so true, No, I love seeing the young folks out here showing aware, showing their support for such a worthy cause. Well, since the holding on the last play, he will kick the ball off from the 50-yard line. When the refs are talking, Maybe they'll come to a conclusion to start the game off. And here we go. Peyton Ride at the 44-yard line, ready to kick off. The ball's on the 50, ready to well, be kicked. Well, his position is on the 44. And, he, and, and the there goes the kick. It'll be an onside kick. And the and Lions will recover the ball. Oh, Tosh my Franklin goodness. Franklin recovers the ball. 
on the oh, and the seven ball. yard line. Oh, Certainly a great play for the Lions. Great decision on the coach's part. But the referees say the ball is going to the Zebras. Wow, that is a turn of events there. They're saying his foot was out of bounds when he had possession of the ball. Well, we have replay. Let's go back and search that. I'm sure we could help them in some way. The but if it are, is the right call, we need to let the game stay fair. The referees are discussing which team should have the ball. It was an absolute great onside kick oh. and even better recover if it stands. Well, the referees are taking quite a while to decide what the call is for the play. Call head coach Coach Kelly over to talk to him on the sidelines, and the fan section begins to boo. That's not a good sign, folks. And the Zebras will have possession of the ball, and the Lions fans do not approve of that call. No, they do not, and I wouldn't either. It's a very risque call. Well, the Zebras will take possession of the ball on the 36-yard line. Well, this is definitely a tough call that our lines are going to have to bounce back from. Maybe they'll try it again later on in the game, and maybe something good will happen out of it. And the snap will be handed off to number five. Kamari Wilkins, who is brought down at the 47-yard line, 43-yard line. Not more like the 35. That's the 43-yard line. This is the 35, so it's on the 37. The ball will be on the 37-yard line, yard line and it's second and nine for the Zebras. He'll take the ball, looking for a pass deep down the field, and he'll find his fullback out to the right for a gain of about three yards. Pass was complete to number 30, McKinley Avery, wide receiver, junior. He is six feet tall and weighs 180 pounds. No, that's quite impressive for a wide receiver, just what you want for a player his size. Well, it'll be third and six, and once again, the crowd is chanting defense in hope of another Lion fourth down. That would be wonderful. Our crowds are very lively tonight. And another... It'll be handed off. Quarterback, quarterback will keep the keeper, and he will not pick up the first down. It'll be fourth down. Just short, about two yeah. yards off. On well, the player went for line. the quarterback keeper and tried to gain the first down. And he failed, and it'll be fourth down. Okay. And a little over two. I think it's fourth down, down and a little over two. They have wireless cameras. It's like Harding Academy has wireless cameras and calls. There's a private line coming. And it looks like we aren't the only ones filming here tonight. Harding University is also here filming the game. Looks like it's their experimental night, too. It will be a kickoff, a punt for the Zebras. It'll be a short punt. Number th Once again, McKinley Avery. And the ball will be down at around the 29-yard line. Well, the Lions successfully stopped them on that possession and will take over the ball. First down for the Lions. Well, this is looking like it's going to be one great game, Noah. Absolutely, Sydney. I think it's going to be a great game. Four minutes and 21 seconds left in the first. Your Lion offense comes out with number 73, Peyton Fisher leading the pack. Shucker will have the first down on the 29-yard line for the Lions. Number one is in motion. Number one, Trent Turner behind. And a flag on the play. False start, call against the Lions. Ball start against the Lions offense. That'll be a five yard penalty. Down and 15 for your Lions. First and 15 on the 24 for the Lions with a little over four minutes to go in the first quarter. Well, one thing we have seen a lot tonight, turnovers. Yes, I'd love to see one of our receivers run down the field and catch the ball just like Trenton Turner just did and is brought down on the 29 yard line. 
Well, he'll bring the ball back to the original line of scrimmage, so it will be third and ten. Trent Turner on the reception for the Lions. Tackled by Isaiah Singleton. Isaiah Singleton brings Turner Second down. down and ten. ten yards to go for the first for the line of scrimmage for your Lions. Shucker will take the snap, hand it off to Cameron Washington, who, drops who finds a few yards. That will result in a third down. Washington on the run. Once again, it is third down for the Lions. Trying to pick up the first down. They are six yards away. And I believe uh, Shucker can do this if he just gets his mind right and looks for the wide open receivers or can drive it through himself. Or quite possibly hand it off to Cameron Washington Which is to great. find six yards. And they will get the ball off just before Who is the, the play clock goes out. Jackson Hall gets the first down. And the Lions barely got that ball off. The 25 second clock almost expired. But Not Shucker Justin snapped Hall, the ball but number 20, just at the right time. Number 12, Justin Rayburn. Trevor Rayburn. And that's another first down for you. It'll be a first down for the Lions on the 41 yard line. Trevor Rayburn with a great run there. Glad we could get that first down. Two minutes and 48 seconds left in the half. Still eight in to eight. In the quarter. In the quarter, my bad. Hand off to Cameron Washington who finds about two yards on the run on first down. Well, that will result in second down. The Lions really have not had a successful offensive drive yet tonight. It will be second and seven on a 44 for the Lions. Players looking for direction from their offensive coordinator. Steven Jones, Coach Jones, everyone loves Coach Jones. He's done such great things for the line offense. Well, Cameron will receive the ball oh, and will be brought down behind the line of scrimmage. Oh. That run didn't look too well or coordinated there, Noah. Something, Coach Jones needs to think of something else. Well, the line offense could not find a way to block the zebra defense. That's true. Well, the zebra brand is quite loud here tonight. Yes, indeed. I can barely hear myself talking. <laughs> and I can barely hear you. You're standing right next to me. Peyton On Fisher third down, Shucker will fumble the ball. And the zebras recover. And the zebras will recover, it looks like. Aaron Edwards the zebras will be in the bottom the of the pile. But Aaron Edwards did not end up with the ball. Once we get to the end of the pile, we'll let you know who it was. The ball is the Zebras, which was recovered by number 31, Isaiah Singleton. Once again, he had another great play on defense. And definitely, been very impressive. Team. Isaiah Singleton is one person that our line's defense and offense doesn't need to let hurt them in their offense. Once again, the Lions turn the ball over. That'll be two turnover, turnovers, mostly fumbles, in the first quarter. I don't think we've seen a game this season that's had as many turnovers as this one has yet. Especially in the first quarter. Exactly. That's, that's kind of crazy. Well, Blair will be in shotgun with three, four receivers out. He will throw the ball number Throws 11. It to number 11, and Xavier it. Smith once again. And it will be tackled, tackled by Connor Collins. He picks up around four or five yards. Tackled by number two, Connor Collins. It will be second down and five. Handoff number five, who finds a hole. And we'll get the first down. That was Kamari and Wilkins with the great we'll one for the bring the ball to around the 20-yard line. That's what I'm saying. Kamari Wilkins on the run for a first down. Depending on where you're going. Tackled by number two, Connor Collins. Once again, Connor Collins with the tackle. We're definitely seeing great things out of C-squared tonight. C-squared. Well, we'll be handed off to number, number five, five once Kamari again. Wilkins. And he'll pick up 
four yards. Once again, a great run by him. Wilkins on the run. And tonight's definitely not as cold as others were projecting it to be. It's actually quite nice right now. Maybe later on in the night it'll get a little chillier, but right now, perfect weather. Well, it looked like it was going to rain a little bit today, but thank, thank, th thank thankfully it, didn't. it did not rain. Oh, and it looks like there's a battle at the... 15-yard line, he'll come out with the ball. Well, that will end the first quarter, and the, the score will be 8-8. Eight to eight. There was four turnovers in that first quarter, two by each team, both being fumbles. One resulting in a Lions touchdown, which is great. The Zebra Band just played an impressive set right then. I don't know what it was, but it sure sounded delightful. It was very loud, that is one thing. Zebras walking back out onto the field, ready to start the second quarter. Well, the Zebras will be on second down and six on the 17 to start the second quarter. And the Palm Bluff cheerleaders are decked out in their pink uh, uniforms tonight. Pink long sleeves and some pink pom-poms, which is great to see. It's great that everyone is aware of the dangerous breast cancer that has, that Afflicted many women our nation. have had. <laughs> you don't see many, you don't see any Palm Bluff players decked out in pink tonight, which is quite unusual when you think about it. Most players like to show off their pink on October games. Well, number five will get the handoff, and he's going on the outside past the 10 yard line and will be brought down at around the six yard line. Kamari Wilkins on the run. He's Please brought leave. down by number 44, Darius Whitney, one of our senior captains. On the stop, number 44, Darius Whitney. It'll be first in first in goal on the seven for the Zebras. Now they have either, marched down all the way down the field for this. Yes, they have. This can either drive. go like it did last time and then run on our defense, or our defense can close knit and stop them before they can do that. <laughs> well, it will be a quarterback keeper by number one, and he will bring the ball down at around the two yard line. Number but more one, importantly, he did not Blair score. on the run. Whitney on the stop. Once again, Darius Whitney with the stop. It'll be second down and two on the two. A minute into the second quarter of the game oh, tonight. This is going to be a tough call for our refs. They all piled across the line. All depends where the ball landed. You never know what happens in the bottom of a pile. The oh. ball could be moved several times. Fingers jabbing in other people's eyes, people getting bit and kicked out. Well, not bit, I guess, since their helmets are on, but you hear some nasty stuff going on in the piles, and it looks like, though, our Lions kept it from the Zebra's touchdown. And the ball will be placed on the one-yard line, so it'll be third and goal on the one for the Zebra's. And here come the Lions stampeding fans. Timeout. It'll be a timeout by the Zebras. Is that if you're supposed to be up here? Right here, anyway. There's some girls over there. They're annoying when we go to. I am filming on my phone. Both teams in their respected huddles. You saw. Always, I've always been curious to know what all goes on there, what all the coaches are telling their players, and what all they're thinking about the game. Probably just knowledge how to 
make the next play very good. Hopefully for the Lions, discussing how they can stop the Zebras from scoring on their next play. <laughs> and both teams are back on the field. The ball will be placed on the one yard line for the Zebras. The Lion defense will be huddled around the line of scrimmage, trying to stop the offensive run. And the ball is handed off to number And he six. will jump over the line Dalvin of scrimmage Smith for a zebra touchdown. <laughs> well, the Lions fail to stop him on that offensive drive, yeah. and they put six points on the board. Indeed. At least it wasn't another quarterback drive, because I don't know what they would have done then. But the jump over the line of scrimmage was pretty impressive. It really was. But did you know that in high school football, you cannot hurdle a player? Really? You cannot. They will call it. I was, you know, surprised when I heard that, too. It's an unusual rule. It really is, because when you think of it, so many great things happen. And the two-point conversion is good by number Simeon Blair, who just runs it in. Well, on that two-point conversion, it'll be 16-8 to eight Zebras with a little over 10 minutes left in the first half. Well, the Lions now trail the Zebras 16 to eight. And the Lion flag throwers are at the end of the field ready for their halftime performance. Once again tonight, we are live streaming on www.lionpress.com. You can click on the Watch Us Now logo and click on the live broadcast link. <laughs> and instead of the Cersei flag line, it's the Cersei color guard. That's Excuse me. Flag it is the flag line. And now I'm being told that the flag line and the color guard is indeed the same thing. Is indeed the same. <laughs> Number six, Dalvin Smith lining up for the kickoff. Number, number three, Tony Young, and 24, Jackson Hall, back for the kick return. And a kick will be deep, and Young will receive it at around the five-yard line. And he runs it in, and it's brought down by the Zebra defense. At around the 19-yard line. Tony Young on the kickoff return. Yes. First and ten for the Lions on the Zebra 14 yard line. At the 14 yard line. And line offense is squared up, ready to take on Mason Shucker. Hand off to number one, Trenton Turner, who keeps running and is brought down by number 21, Wesley Hunt. Correction, that was number seven, Cameron seven, Washington seven. on the run. Once again, Cameron Washington find a, finding a hole in the Zebra defense, finding the first down. And that's another first down for York. And the Lions break huddle and fast hand off the number seven Cameron Washington, who who has, has a big hit, and, is and will be brought down by number 29 Martavius Thompson at around the 31 yard line. Well, Cameron took a big shot that time. Indeed, he's had two great plays in a row. Maybe we'll get the first down on this run. Complete to number number one, one Trent Trenton Turner, Turner was the intended the receiver. Yes, number one and number seven. Those num those jersey numbers just look so similar when you're up high as we are. But we do have a great view of the field. We indeed do, Noah. We indeed do. <laughs> but I do agree with you, Sydney. It has been difficult to tell the difference of the numbers. It really has. When you have the red numbers on the black jerseys, a one looks like a seven and a three looks like an eight. 
Shuck will take the snap. Throws to number seven, Cameron Washington, who runs it in to the 45-yard line. Oh. That is the 45-yard line. 35-yard line. I will get these numbers down before the end of the game, folks. I promise. <laughs> It's not necessary to laugh at me, Noah. Fourth down and two. Fourth and two for the Lions, and once again they are going for it, which has been a trend they have been doing yes, all season. Two yards left to go. You can only hope they get it. Shucker will be in shotgun with Rayburn and Turner out as receivers. Looking down the field, fires deep. Number 12, Trevor Rayburn oh, is just shy of his hands, incomplete, and the Lions once again will turn the ball over. And our Lion defense is led back out on the field, led by number 67. Flav Carpenter. Flav Carpenter. Well, the Zebra offense have been very successful on the ground tonight. Yes, you'd think the coaches would know not to put them with such great field position on the fourth down, no matter how small of a yardage you have to gain to the scrimmage. Well, Simeon Blair and the quarterback keeper will pick up about three yards. Second and seven on the 31 for the Zebras. Looking for a pass down the field. Intercepted almost just out of the hands of number 11, I believe, Chris Rucker. Well, that would have been a great interception if it, it was would've. successful. Blair took a shot down the field, hoping for a touchdown pass, just but it was quite, just short, quite make it. and it'll be incomplete. Well, that will result in a third down and seven on the 31 for the Zebras. Oh. He'll take the snap and hand it off to number five, Wilkins. Nope, no it wasn't. Oh, Quarterback it was fake, fake. it was brought down at the 33 yard line. Nope, nope, the 27 yard line. Well, that was a good fake because I was even faked out. In, yes, you were, no, that was quite hilarious. Everyone messes up. It just happens to be more, me more than Noah. Well, Blair will pick up a few yards. It'll be fourth and four on the 33. And Maybe they'll get something out of this, but we can hope. Oh, offsides, flag, Lions offense. Looks like they'll probably be brought up. I don't remember the yardage for what do you get for offsides, Noah? How about a 10 yard penalty? Well, it looks like the uh, Zebras will be put on the 20 once the refs go over this call. I'm pretty sure number five, Cameron Washington, and number 43. Yes. We don't have a number 43 on our roster. The Lions. And number 43, whose name we do not have, crossed the line of scrimmage just a little down. too soon. It will be a 10 yard penalty. It will be first down and 10 on the 23 for the Zebras. Blair will be in shotgun in for the Zebra offense. We don't know. He'll take the snap. It will be a handoff to number five who is brought down at around the 19 yard line. Jamaria Wilkins on the run, tackle by number nine, Kareem Cooperwood. Second down and eight. Kendall Moore. Kendall Moore, number 43. We need to get that on board. Kendall Moore. Well, Blair will be in shotgun once again, trying to draw the Lion defense off sides with the fake snaps. About eight yards left to go to the line of scrimmage. And Simeon Blair throws to number 30. Who will pick up McKinley the first down Avery. and even more. Well, once again, the Lions fail to stop them and they will pick up a first down. One thing the coaches need to realize is that this Zebra offense can run the ball and we do not need to give them good field position on their side of the field. They definitely came to play tonight. 
And we have a player down for the Lions defense. Oh, yeah. Hey, you want any water? Yes. Yeah, we do. I don't yeah. care. I'm up for anything. Gator. Whatever you can. And number 24. Jackson Hall was a little bit shaken up after that last play, yeah. but he looks, like to, he looks to be fine. These Palm Bluff dudes, they aren't messing around. They're big and they're hefty. They're ready to bring on a fight tonight. It'll be first and 10 on the 10. Oh, is that another? Blair looking to the sideline for the call. He'll be in shotgun. Snaps the ball, handed off number five, oh, who finds the down. end zone, but there is a flag on the play. Wilkins on the run for Well, the Zebras, Zebras did score on that last play, but play. there was a flag. It'll be holding on the Zebras offense, so that last touchdown will not count. Well, that's a great mood booster for our Lions defense. Maybe they can find some way to stop their offense before they score for actual, for good. And the ball put into play. It'll be on the 18-yard line. It'll be first and 10 on the 18 for the Zebras. There will be two wide receivers out as long as number five, Wilkins, in as halfback. Number Blair will keep Simeon the ball, for and a touchdown. he will score the number third zebra touchdown of the night. Number four, Tosh Franklin having a little trouble getting up after that play. Once again, the Lions cannot stop the run. That has been a struggle the Lion defense has had for the past couple of weeks. And once again, it, they fail on stopping it, and the Zebras will score another touchdown. And you have the Pine Bluff field going across the away, sign, away stands, showing great pride for their school right now. Uh, That's it. No, it's not. Our fans are really voicing their opinion tonight to watch the keeper. Maybe the team should take that into some consideration. And once again, the two-point conversion is successful. It'll be 24 to eight I don't Zebras. think we've seen a team go for this many two-point conversions this season either. They're showing us the lines a whole lot this season. And the Cersei High Marching Band is down on the uh, track getting ready for their halftime performance. Tonight should be great as always. They've never disappointed their fans. As the announcers like to say, the night's main attraction, and it's believable. They are a very great band, in my opinion. They are. Especially they were when they number one at ev in every division. Yes, yeah, so at War Marching Memorial this last week, they ranked first in color guard and in their percussion. Awesome. Well, a little under six minutes left in the first half. Lions trail the Zebras 24 to eight. Lions have turned the ball over two times tonight as well as the Zebras. And number six, Smith lines up for the kickoff. And it's off. And Kicked out of bounds once again. And That's the penalty will be, will be for free kick out of bounds. And the Lions will receive the ball on the 35-yard line. Well, maybe this time Shucker and, and company will be able to score another touchdown. I would hope so. We really need it. We're two touchdowns behind and four points. Something needs to happen. Hootens can't be correct this week. And once again, our wonderful ball boys keeping the game going. Is that what they say? Well, who's on the camera? I don't know. Do I need to go get it? 
Well, Shucker will be in shotgun for the first down. Rayburn will be in motion. And it'll be handed off to him, who cuts around the oh. offensive line, and will gain about three yards. Well, Trevor Rayburn on the run. Trevor Rayburn again Back with the... the line 29. What is Shucker's looking for a pass complete to number seven, Cameron Washington, who picks up about two yards on the completed pass. Washington on the run. Thompson on the tackle again. It's going to be third down and five. It'll be third and five on the 40 for the Lions. It'll be two receivers and one tight end, as long as Cameron Washington in the backfield as halfback. The ball is snapped. Looking for a pass down the field. And Finds wide open number, number 12, 12 Trevor, Trevor Rayburn, Rayburn, who is brought who'll pick up the first down and it'll be marked down at around the 48 yard line. Rayburn on the reception. It'll be first and 10 on the 48 for the Lions on that successful pass from Shucker to Trevor Rayburn. Yes. And the Pine Bluff Band once again voicing their opinion tonight. He takes a snap, looking for a receiver downfield, complete to number three, Tony Young, who will get the ball down at around the 39-yard line. Not enough to pick up the first down, but a good offensive play. Up second down. Shucker has looked for a pass down the field and will find number 27, Tim Williams, who will be brought down at around the 16 yard line. Uh, once again, a great pass from Mason Shucker. Yes, it was. Now let's just hope we see something result from that pass in this run. Hopefully the Lions score a touchdown. Well, with a little, take a field goal at this point in the game. A little over four minutes left in the first half. Mason uh, looks for a receiver down receiver the field being rushed by the Turner super was defense. Wide open, but he couldn't get it quite to him. And he'll be brought down at around the line of scrimmage. Brought down by number 18, I believe, Rod Stinson. Number 17, Mason Shucker on the keeper. Run down to number 18, Rod Stinson. Second down and 10. Well, folks, if you're at home, be glad. This Palm Bluff band is just not, just, they're just not feeling it tonight. So if you're at home watching this, be glad you're home. Three and a half minutes left in the first half. Turner will be in motion. Hands off to number seven, Cameron Washington, who finds around three yards. Washington on the run. Tackle by number seven, Keyshawn Bailey. Third down and seven. Third and seven for the Lions. Three minutes left in the second quarter before halftime. Well, the Lions have been unsuccessful on most of their third down conversions here tonight. And their fourth, which is unbelievable to why they're taking it. Trenton Turner in motion running. Oh, pass. Trenton Turner, who is brought out of bounds at about the 16 yard line. And that pass will be for a loss. And that play was not what the Lions wanted. No, it was not. Glad that Shucker could get a pass off, a complete pass at that, but we needed some yardage off of that. Well, that last play was not how the offensive coordinator drew it up. No, it was not. Or maybe the Lions offense, something went wrong, or maybe the defense was just on them for that play. Well, once again, they're going for it on fourth down, a trend we've seen most of the game tonight. Uh, this game is really a big machoism play. Machoism game, excuse me. Shucker looking for the pass deep down the number field. Three. Finds number three, Tony Young, who gets the for touchdown, touchdown for the Lions. Well, Young was wide open on that play. Shucker found him and threw the touchdown pass. Good for a touchdown. 
At first, I didn't think Shucker was going to see Young, but he made the connection, and it resulted in a great touchdown for the Lions. Well, the Lions looking like they, they will go for the two-point conversion to be down only by seven. Or to be down by eight. They are down by ten right now. If the two-point conversion is successful, they will be down by eight. Simple math. <laughs> Well, Shucker will be in quarterback for a two-point conversion. Number 31, Trenton Turner looking to, oh, somebody needs to get, Shucker needs to run it in or throw it in. And it is picked off by the Zebra defense. Well, not picked off, but batted down. Well. And the two-point conversion will be unsuccessful. And the score will remain 24 to 10. 14. 10 is how many yards they have to go to the line of scrimmage. My score. mistake, my mistake. 24 to 14 is the score. If anything, I think our coaching staff needs to go back to kicking a field goal. I don't think we've seen one the entire game. No, we have not. And if we had, I believe we would be at by probably, Please. I would say maybe eight points if they had to kick field goals when needed or punted the ball away. That is true. The Lions have gone for it on fourth down every time tonight when faced in that situation. Yes, they have. I don't know if they're doing it because Palm Bluff has and they're just trying to stay in tune with them or if they really think they can make it, but we have not seen this at all this season. Not when you can't get a fourth down. They have not. They're it. Yeah, it If it's not working, you don't do it. And Peyton Wright will be on the field for the kickoff. Well, once again, we are live streaming tonight on www.lionpress.com. You can click on the Watch Us Now logo and click on the live broadcast link. And please do that. But if you're hearing this, you probably already have. So pass it on to some friends. Let them know. We'd love to hear from you all, too, on our Facebook and Twitter pages at Cersei Lion TV. We have Instagram, too. Oh, we also have an Instagram, I'm told. Hit us up on that. <laughs> Just tag us with the game that you're watching, and thanks for letting us know. Well, number 23, Chris Blunt Jr. Oh, will receive the kickoff. It was number Actually, 22, number my two, bad, Jeremy, Jeremy Thompson. Thompson. As we talked about before, the numbers seem yes, very alike. Yes, they do. Tonight, with the haze that's covering the field, it just makes the eyesight that much more difficult. First down for the Zebra. Our student section is not looking too lively right now, folks. Maybe once the Lions pick up their game, we'll see some activity coming from their direction. Well, that will be a flag on the defense. As number 69, Tanner Thomas. Well, 68. 68, Tanner Thomas. Jumped off sides. And he's brought off the field by his coaching staff. <laughs> Looks like some harsh yelling going down on the field for such a little mistake. It'll be first and five on the 43. Snaps the ball, hands off number five, who finds a big hole for the uh -oh. line. Defense at, at the 30, now it's at the 20, and it'll be brought down at around the 10 yard line. It looked like number 24, Jackson Hall, wasn't cut off to take off such a big man running his direction. Once again, the Lions cannot stop the run. Uh, something needs to change here. I'm sure coaching staff will figure it out at halftime, and we'll come back, and we'll see such great improvement from the Lions. A little over two minutes left in the first half. Well, Blair will be in, in quarterback once again with number five, Wilkins, as his halfback. Three wide receivers out. The ball is on the 11-yard line. It'll be a low snap. It'll be a quarterback keeper once oh. again. And Blair will find Run the end in zone for, for a zebra touchdown. Once again, that receiver faked. I just don't I don't know what our lines are going to do about it. They tricked all of their minds out right then. Uh, everybody was going one direction, and the football went the other, resulting in a touchdown. Well, once again, the touchdown will be on a run. And as I said before, the Lions have had a hard time this season stopping the run. Something the Lions should face for should do more in, deep in the practice is focus on stopping the running game. Yes, they should. Maybe we should bring that up to Coach Kelly at halftime. Coach Kelly, you need to do something different. 
But I'm sure whatever he's got working in his mind and the two-point conversion is good. It'll be 32-14. Zebras over the Lions. It'll be an 18-point lead with one minute and 49 seconds left in the first yes. quarter. No, it's been like that. It's just gotten more work. Once again, really nice weather out here at Lions Stadium. Not as hot, or I mean, not as cold as we thought it was going to be, and it looks like the rain is yet to come. Thankfully, that would be horrible on all of our television equipment we have on the field. Oh, uh, it would. But we have towels down there if we ever need them. Let's hope the rain never comes tonight. Yes, we would not be able to live stream then. You can catch up with no and I. Which I'm saying. Well, it sounds like the parent section's lively tonight. Our student section, not so much. And it looks like our mascot, Zion King, is sporting a pink tutu with his, cost with his mascot uniform tonight. And a pink bow is on the end of his tail. He's got the right idea. And number six, Dalvin Smith is lining up for the kickoff. Vera, it was stressed out. Vera's back. She's on field. And the kickoff. Number three, Young, will receive the kickoff. Looking for a hole. And we brought down at around the 28 yard line. Well, the Lion offense comes back on the field. Score touched on the last possession, but was unsuccessful in the two-point conversion. Yeah, let's just hope we can see something come off of this def well, point deficit for now. They really need to make this up somehow. Tackled by number two, Dylan Ashley. Hey, Well, Shucker will have snapped the ball. It'll be handed off number seven, Cameron Washington, who he tries to find a hole in the line. Under the zebra, the zebra defense, and we brought down Washington just in front of the 30-yard line. It'll be second and seven for the Lions. Number 12, Trevor Rayburn in motion. Shucker looking for fast. fast. Deep number down the field. It'll be complete it. to number Trevor one, Trenton Trevor Turner, who finds the end zone for a Lion touchdown. Just what we needed then, Noah. Just what we needed before halftime. That was a 69-yard touchdown pass. That was Amazing great. by Mason Shucker. Him and Trenton Turner have such great connection when they're on the field together and both of them are in their right mindset. It's great to see what they can do together. Well, the Lions shorten the lead for the Zebras. Just a short 12 points behind before the, looks like another two point conversion. And a hand, oh no. And the two point conversion will be incomplete. And that will result in the score staying the same, 20 to 32. And that's two points there that the Lions have given up because they went for a two-point conversion. They know that the Zebras' defense is going to be pretty tough on them tonight, so. Well, it would be 20 to 32 Pine Bluff over the Cersei Lions. With one minute and 11 seconds left in the first half. It has been a tough first half for the Lions. Oh, it has. And it looks like both of the bands are on field ready to perform at halftime. It should be a halftime show for the, for to, re, to remember. <laughs> both bands very enthusiastic here tonight. And Peyton Wright lining up for kickoff. No. And the kick is away. 
deep kick to number received at the eight yard line. Jeremy Thompson. Looking for a hole. Oh. And it's still on his feet. And we brought down at around the 44 yard line. Well, the Lion defense almost had him there for a few times, but they just couldn't break him through until they finally all together got him down just about the 43 yard line. 22, Jeremy Thompson on the kickoff return. Brought down on the 23, Christian Delgado. First and 59 seconds left in the first half. Lions trail the Zebras by 12 points. Lion defense on the field once Just again. Under a minute left in the second quarter. Number one, Simeon Blair looking to his sideline for the offensive play call. Four receivers out wide for the Zebras. Takes a snap, hand, hand off, off number five, five Wilkins, Mario Wilkins. Who will find the first down. Once again, the Lions can't stop the run game. No, they cannot. Mario Wilkins, number five, on the run. Tactic by number 24, Jackson Hall. It'll be a pass out to number 22, oh. and it'll be incomplete. Pass intended for number 22, Jireem Thompson. Jeremy Thompson. It'll bring up second down and 10. Second and 10 on the 44 for the Zebras. <laughs> no. Well, if I was Zebras, I would stick to the run game. Oh, I definitely would. Hopefully their coach, well, for them, hopefully their coaching staff won't change up. And number 11, number Xavier 11. Smith is brought Xavier down Smith. by number nine, Kareem Cooperwood. Well, he'll pick up about seven yards. Third down and four. It'll be third and four for the Zebras. Takes a snap, oh, but awesome. a flag will be on the play. I'm pretty sure that was on the Zebras. It looked like number 11 jumped forward just a little too soon. Looks like it'll be a false start on the Zebra offense. I didn't mean to say offsides. Yep. I don't say anything offsides, false start. Yes, it is. False start by the Zebra offensive line. It'll be third and nine, and the Lions have had a hard time tonight stopping on third down. Yes, but maybe something will, you know, connect with them tonight, and they'll just stop that play. And a, num a handoff to number five, Kareem Wilkins, once again. It looks like they just like running the ball with him because he does such a great job at getting through the defense and gaining some yardage. Well, he'll be short of the first down. It'll be fourth down and inches, it looks like. Mm. Barely a yard, maybe not even a yard for uh, the, the – well, they do call it a first down. <laughs> oh. Very controversial from where we see it. 15 seconds remains on the play clock. Plenty of time for both teams to work some magic. Throws it deep down the field. It'll be caught, by but once again, a flag is on the by play. number 11, Xavier Smith. And time will stop at four there seconds. Is a flag on the play. It'll be holding on the Zebra offense. Holding against the Zebra. Well, for once, the flag goes for Cersei. Which is great. We really need that extra yardage for our defense to work. And the Zebras are barred back to the 50-yard line. The on the 50-yard line. It'll be first down and 26. Oh, such a great drive. And time expires on the clock. And Looking for a pass deep Number down one, the field. Simeon Blair runs and is brought back. Will he be tackled? Oh, there's flag a flag on the, on the play. play. Fires deep down the field. And is incomplete. Two flags on the field, both at different ends. Well, time does expire here in the first half. Yes. But there are two flags on the, on the field. And we shall see what they are. One at are. the end zone and one when the quarterback got out of the pocket. It's very controversial to see what we might find. 
Both teams still out on the field waiting to find out what the call is. Time has expired in the first half. The and it looks like the Zebras will have another go at That's getting a, scoring before halftime. Well, there's a flag on the Zebras, a flag on the Lions, and the, and the penalties will offset. So no penalty will occur. So there will be happened. one more play until the half ends. Both bands on the sidelines ready to walk out and play. Well, Blair will be in shotgun, looking for a receiver deep down the field. Three oh, and and once, two flags on and the multiple field. flags on the field. And another oh. flag. Three that one separate is, flags. The flag deep down the field was obviously pass interference. Definitely, but two flags here. One of the refs actually hit the player with the flag. <laughs> that was pretty hilarious. Well, once again, the half has not started. Half Holding on the zebras. Pass and interference the fans on the Lions. are not happy with the Penalties this offset. And once again, it'll be first and 26 well, on the 50 for the third again, time. This game is showing us stuff we have not seen all season, Noah. So there's no telling what by the end of the game, what all we will see. Back to back plays with offsetting penalties from both for both teams. And right before halftime, very unusual. Once again, first and 26 for the third time. <laughs> Blair will be in shotgun once again. Most likely looking for a receiver deep down the field. Yes. Three, four receivers running downfield. Blair, rush, Deep pass. throw down the field. Oh, and it's. And it'll be incomplete. And the half will finally end. And both teams run to the respective locker rooms. Well, at the end of the first half, it will be 32 to 20 Zebras. Well, hopefully you guys stick around and watch both of the bands perform here at halftime. We will be back at the start of the second half. <laughs>
High School Marching Lion Band. And welcome back. Y'all just missed an amazing halftime performance from the Pine Bluff Zebras and the Cersei Lions. Pine Bluff, they did something really unorthodox, but it was great. Something you don't generally see in a marching band. It was an absolutely great performance by the Cersei Marching Band and the Pine Bluff Band. And to see all the cheer or the Lion Steppers, I guess, with the names of their loved ones that they knew and supported that had cancer, that was just a really great aspect to their routine. Well, the half is about to start again. Lions trail the Zebras 32-12. The Lions have been unable to stop the run game all night. Maybe locker room, maybe they had some talk in the locker room and they know what they need to do this uh, quarter. There you go. That's this quarter to fix up their game. And the Lions will receive the ball, number three and 24. Tony Young and Jackson Hall back to receive the ball. And it was a and, and of course, a penalty come out, out for of a free kick. kick out of bounds. He has done that multiple times tonight. Maybe they need to find someone to replace Dalvin Smith, unless maybe this is part of their game. Maybe if they want it. putting Cersei on the 35 to start every, every possession is their idea, then they are succeeding. Yes. <laughs> Ball will be placed on the Lions' 35-yard line. Oh, Kick went out of bounds. And Shucker hands off, and they do not gain a first down, but they got about three or four yardage there. A run by number seven, Justin Osborne. Washington on the run. Excuse me, Washington. One, Isaiah Singleton. Second down and seven. It would be second down and seven for the Lions. Shucker in as quarterback once again. Looking oh. for a receiver down the field. Oh, gets scrambles out of a, out of a sack. Pass the line and of scrimmage and a pickup will gain about two yards. What's the word? Shucker on the quarterback keeper. Third down and five. Third and five. Well, one thing's for sure. If they stay where they are at for the fourth down, they definitely need to punt that away. They're giving the Zebras too good of a field position. Most definitely, the Lions have gone for it on fourth down most of the night tonight. Oh, and the ball is incomplete pass. <laughs> Fourth and five for the Lions. They're going for it on fourth down once again. Shucker, Shucker looking to the sideline for the offensive play call. Shucker takes a snap, looking for a receiver deep down the field, firing deep. And the ball will be incomplete, and the Lions turn it over once again on fourth down. <laughs> so did they come? fastball is incomplete. Ball is turned over on that. And the Zebras will take possession on the 40 yard line. Whatever you want. Hey, what part is way in Zebras lead the Lions 32-20. Number one, Simeon Blair in his quarterback. Pitches it to number five, Wilkins, who will be short of the first down. Picks up around nine yards. Mario Wilkins on the run for the Zebras. It'll be second down and one on the 31 for the Zebras. Lions have been unable to stop the run game all night as Blair takes the quarterback keeper and it's brought down at the 30 yard line. 
Well, it looks like our Lions defense. Well, I guess we'll just have to see some more runs before we can really tell what all's going on down there. Hopefully they made some improvements during halftime. We can only hope so. Nothing worse could have possibly happened. Now watch what I'm about to do. Third and one on the 31. And another quarterback run. And he will pick up the first down. Of course. Uh, Simeon Blair, shown, he can run the ball all over our defense today. Uh, their offensive line just put our defense back and opened up a great hole for him to run through. The Lions just have been unable to stop the run game all game. Yeah. Maybe later on we'll see how they plan to stop that. Maybe the guys just need to come back and take some time, and hopefully we'll see some improvement before the end of the game. I hope. It'll be first and 10 for the Zebras on the 26-yard line. Blair and Shotgun with Wilkins at halfback. Takes the snap, hands it off, fake handoff. Finds number 15, wide open. Touchdown, to number 15, Josh Smith. The first time we've mentioned for him tonight. The Zebras. Blair's pass, number 15, Josh Smith. Good for a touchdown. Well, that touchdown will result in the score going to 38 to 20. The Zebras now lead the Lions. Most um, likely they would go for the two-point conversion I would be again. surprised if they didn't. They've had great, um, well, they've executed it every time they've ran tonight, so. And once again, they are going for the two-point conversion. Blair in his quarterback. And it will be a handoff and, out to the right. And, and of number course. 22, Jareem Thompson Jer on Jeremy. the successful two-point conversion. Jeremy. Well, the Lions once again trail the Zebras 40 to 20. Palm Bluff cheerleaders very happy with the new score. And the chances of li the Lions winning this game are going down. Well, the Lions are back for the kick return, Young and Hall. You can take my spot, alright? Put your hand there. Hey. Uh huh. Hey, Miss Bone, I can make that possible for you. <laughs> um, let's cut you in two. <laughs> and number six, Dalvin Smith for the kickoff. You know, he, he looks more like a lineman than a kicker, if I do say so. He's That's very right, heavy set, 229 pounds. You generally don't see that in a kicker. 5'10", just... That's Pennsylvania's kicker. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I forgot what I was going to say because I was interrupting. Thanks. Well, the Lions will take over possession at around the 24-yard line. Cersei trails Pine Bluff 40 to 20. The ball will be placed on the 24 yard line. And the Lions are down by 20 points. The Lions have had trouble fumbling the ball tonight. They fumbled it already at least two times. And Mason Shucker hands off to number seven, Cameron Justin Washington. Osborne, who picks up a few Washington yards. Number seven is Justin Osborne. It's, Cam it's Cameron. Well, then we need to get that changed. Excuse Cameron. Yeah, yeah, number seven, Cameron Washington. I'm sorry. We have a correction to our roster. Second and five on the 29 for the Lions. Shucker will be in shotgun, takes a snap. Looking for a receiver, finds Trevor Rayburn. And we brought about a yard in front of the line of scrimmage. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Shucker's pass to number 12, Trevor Raven. What? How? Stopped by number 29. Martavius Thompson, third down and four. And a third down and fourth from Martavius Thompson. Hey, look, I'm telling me. The Palm Bluff star that put down our offense. And Mason Shucker, who is running the ball. And he gets the first down, and he is good. Even but, more. Oh, he is brought down just outside the 35-yard line. What a great run from Mason Shucker. Indeed, we, that's the first time we've seen him successful.
successfully run the ball for a significant amount of yardage this game. Couldn't and that was find amazing. an open receiver, decided to run, and it succeeded, picking yes, up it did. 30 yards. Whatever they talked about in the locker room sure helped Shucker. <laughs> sure helped Shucker. It'll be first and ten for the Lions on their on the Zebra 37-yard line. Seven and a half minutes left in the third quarter. The Lions are two wide, halfback and quarterback. Shucker and shotgun will hand off the camera on Washington once again, and we brought down about a yard in front of the line of scrimmage. Washington on the run, brought down to number 67. Excuse me, that's number 63, Yvonne Going, and 31. Isaiah It'll be second and ten on the 37. With the just line. under seven minutes left in the third. Shuck will be in shotgun. Four wide receivers out. And number three, pass, Tony Young three. will get the ball. Ooh. And will take the ball to around the 26 yard line. That's completed to number three, Tony Young. Well, that That's completed the pass will pick up the first down. Once again. And that's a first down for your Cersei Lions who are already back down, ready to throw the ball to Shucker. Oh, and Shucker right off his fingertips, but he recovers it right on the 37-yard line. does miss the snap, and they will lose about six or seven yards. That's something you don't ever want to see from your quarterback with cold hands. Let's hope he won't make that mistake again. Shucker recovering. It'll be second down and 20 on the 36 for the Lions. Oh, uh, well, this will definitely. Let's there are see four if receivers on the field. Amazing now. Shucker looking to the sideline for the offensive play call, telling it to his offensive line. I've always wondered what those hand signals meant. Well, it means something, but we, oh, we, we wouldn't know. Totally know. And Shucker pass. Completed pass number one, Trenton Turner. Way to pick up around five, six yards. The <gasps> well, that will result in third down and long. The Lions have been unsuccessful on most of the third downs that they have attempted tonight. And on to the field, number 47, whose name we don't have. We should get a complete roster, Noah. <laughs> Who's Jake? No. Oh. Okay, Jessica said I. Tell Jessica she looks good. Just say it. Just tell her. Jessica, you look fabulous. A couple of announcements tonight. Jessica, Park you look Avenue fabulous. Church. It'll be second and 15 for the Lions after this timeout on the 31-yard line. As I was saying before, the Lions have been unsuccessful on most and both teams in their respective huddles. The game. After the game, for those who need a ride to the church, Park Avenue Baptist Church. Well, the Lions' offense after the game. have been struggling also, tonight against the, the Zebra the defense. Yes, they have. Maybe we'll see something later on in the third, maybe the fourth quarter from our Lions' offense. Maybe they can find a way to power through. And close at midnight. There will be lots of food on the game. Located one It'll be second and 15 on the 30 run. Shucker and company back on the field looking for the first down. Trenton Turner and Trevor Rayburn out as wide receivers, as well as Cameron Washington in as halfback. Shucker takes a snap looking downfield for an open receiver. Finds number 12, Trevor Rayburn, who drops the ball. Oh, there's a flag on the play, though. Two separate flags. A flag on the play. Most likely pass interference. Trevor Raider falls incomplete, and there are two flags on the play. And you hear our cheerleaders trying to pep our student section up, who is now looking a little alive. Pass interference on the Zebras. And that will be a penalty, and the Lions will gain a few penalty yards. Now 2 and 15, 5 13 left to play in the third. Hey, I got a thing. Come on, stand up. 
Down here. They were like, down here. And that's another first down for your Cersei Lions. First down for your Lions from the penalty calls. Okay. It'll be first and 10 on the 16 after the 15 yard pass interference penalty. Shucker will take the snap. Hands off to Cameron Washington, who tosses it out to number, number one, Trent Turner, looking for an opening. And oh, we brought down at around the 12 yard line. Well, that was a, a successful. Run by Trent Turner. We see many good things out of him tonight. That was a very successful reverse. And now we have special guest Jake Williamson here. Hey guys, so the line's looking pretty good so far. I mean, we've had a few costly mistakes here and there, but I mean, we'll get back in this and hopefully we'll win the game. Back to you guys. That's all. That's what one can hope. Thanks, Jake, for that helpful insight on the game. Well, four yards were gained in that last play. It'll be second down and six on the 12. Three wide receivers out. And, no, and number 41 in motion. Shucker looking for a receiver deep down the field. Finds number 12, Trevor Rayburn for the Touch Lion touchdown. Now the real question here is, are they going to go for the two-point conversion or are they just going to go ahead and kick a field goal? Most likely they're going to go for the two-point conversion to try, to try and close in the game. I know, but is Shucker Shucker's still on field? Is their kicker like, is their kicker out or what? It's probably perfectly fine. The Lions are trying to close, 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 close the gap, the gap Let's on the just scoreboard. Hope something good can happen. Oh, Shucker and, will keep the ball for and quarterback like keeper, will it and he'll get a touchdown. Conversion. Two point conversion two is two. good. Pine Bluff defense going two point in. Conversion is good. By I think the cheerleader should take him on in to do a handstand or a flip or two. Well, really that great. successful two-point conversion, the lead is now 40 to 28. Lions only trail the Zebras by 12 points. Well, that's two of the four two-point conversions that we have made so far. It's great to know. Now Peyton Wright's getting set up for the kickoff. Well, now let's see if the Lion defense can hold off another score by the Zebras. Yeah, that'll be something good for us to, you know, know because we need to, we really need to step up. What? Peyton Wright. Oh my God. Peyton Wright getting set up for the kickoff. Pine Bluff has number 22, Jeremy Thompson, and number seven, I believe, Keyshawn Whaley. You know what? I quit. <laughs> well, Peyton Wright will be in for the kickoff, and the ball is away. Oh, it'll be another a onside, onside kick. kick. Oh, is that? And the ball out goes of out of bounds, and the zebras. The Lions almost will had that. If we had a little more room, the Lions may would have had that. Thank God. <laughs> I mean, Logan finally didn't take my shot. But my ear is tired of getting in. <laughs> okay. Don't complain. Uh, Mr. Bone said, oh, I like Logan. He doesn't complain. <laughs> <laughs> I was down there the whole time. I'm going to quit. I'm going to quit. Nope. Yeah, it's, it's going to talk shot. Simeon Blair in, an, in, the, in the game as quarterback. Line defense back in the field trying to stop the Zebras from another successful offensive drive. Blair takes a snap, hands it off to number five, who finds the first down and even more. Oh. Be brought down and around the 25 yard line. That was very close for our Cersei defense. No, it's just. Mario Wilkins on the run for a first down. It's just tackled by number 11, Chris Rucker. Wilkins was tackled by Chris Rucker there. Still resulting in a first down. It'll be first and 10 on the 26 for the Zebras. 
Blair looking to the sideline for the offensive play call. It'll be an offensive pass looking deep down the field for oh. number 11. And it'll be number a touchdown Xavier for Smith. the Zebras. I'm pretty sure that's his second or third touchdown of the night. It was an absolutely great pass by quarterback Simeon Blair. And the Lions once again fail to stop the Zebra offense. And I can only imagine they'll probably go for the two-point conversion again. Okay, Mr. Bowman. And once again, Zero is going for a two point conversion, and it is successful. And there is a flag on the play. Flags were thrown late. We're going to have to look at the game. Okay, remember 3 3 3. That's easy. 3 3. There's a flag on the play. Oh, just his back. Holding, the Holding on the zebras was the flag. <laughs> <laughs> Which will put them back. It'll be the two-point conversion on the 13-yard line. Takes the snap, looking for a pass. It'll oh, be intercepted. intercepted by number nine, Kareem Cooperwood. Although it's not a two-point conversion, so the ball will be coming. It will be a kickoff. If only we could have done that on an actual play. Well, not that this isn't, but. Two-point conversion is no good. Broken up by yeah, number nine. A non two point conversion play, as I am told. <laughs> no, no one moved it, not me. <laughs> and number six, Dalvin Smith, lining up for the kickoff. Once again, it's incredible. This young man of 229 pounds is a kicker. I wonder if Pine Bluff doesn't have the skill for this or if he's just the best option they have. Well, they probably have. just have confidence in him that That's he's a good true. kicker. Jackson Hall and Tony Young back for the reception. Great kickoff. Jackson Hall will get the ball. Oh, he better They're get on the five-yard line. Oh, he runs right Ooh. to his defense. And he will be met at around the 11-yard line. Jackson Hall on the kickoff return. Tackled by number seven, Keyshawn Whaley. First and ten. First and ten for the Lions on the 13 on the 19 yard line. 13, excuse me. 13 yard line. First and ten for the Lions. First and 10 and a 13 for the Lions. Shucker will take the snap. Hand off to Cameron Washington. Finds a hole up the middle and will be brought down at around the 32 yard line. Washington on the run. And that's another first down for York. Be brought down at around the 27 yard line. Shucker will take the snap, hand it off to Cameron Washington once again, who will be brought down at around the 34-yard line. Washington on the run, brought down by number seven. Great commentator. Sean Whaley. Second down and four. All right, guys, so we got Mason Shucker back on the pass. Shucker. He's going to look deep. He finds number one, Trent Turner. Oh, out of reach. Raises his fingertips. Thank you, Jake. That's our third, qu third quarter analysis for the evening, folks, and he's done such a great job. And that incomplete pass will result in third down. Third down. Third and five on the 33 for the Lions. That had so much fun.
Well, Shucker will be in shotgun once again, looking to pick up the first down. Hands off the camera. No, it to be a fake. Number 12, Trevor Rayburn catches well, the ball. They don't they gain any yardage off of that play. Well, Trevor Rayburn. Looks like a pickup of about four yards. About four. Down number 21, Wesley Hunt. And that's another first down. And that will pick up the first down. Just enough yardage for the first down, which is just what our Lions need. It'll be first and 10 on the 38. Lions offense snaps it. Looking for a pass. Completes number 12, Trevor, Trevor Rayburn, Rayburn. Brought down at around the 45-yard line. It's amazing to see what Trevor's done since coming back from an ACL or MCL tear. He has done absolutely great this game and for the whole entire season. Yeah, he has. I was really glad to see that he was able to come back from that and do as great as he has. Lions offense on third, second and two. Pass once again to Tony Young. Picks up the first down and even more. Brought down at around the 46-yard line. Well, knock on wood, but whatever the coaches did in the locker room sure affected the Lions' running game. I mean, passing game. Well, it affected their offense, not really the oh, defense. Oh, completely. Yes, whatever. Their defensive line just needs to tighten up. Shucker takes a snap, looking deep downfield for a pass. Scrambling out to the right, trying to avoid being sacked. Oh, but it looks like he'll get the first down. Runs well, out of bounds into Pine Bluff. Just enough to pick up one yard. First down is there. Oh, they have too many orange markers on the sidelines. Shucker on the keeper. It'll be second down at eight. It'll be second and eight for the Lions on the 44-yard line. Shucker in a shotgun with Cameron Washington in his, in, as his halfback. He'll take the snap, looking for a receiver, and he will drop it. Number one, Trenton Young on the, drops the open wide pass, and that will result in a third down. Pass to Turner, ball's incomplete. Third down and eight. And the Lions have three and eight to go. They're third, third down. And eight for the Lions. Trenton Turner coming off the field. <laughs> Looks really upset. Did not that drive did not go as they would have liked. Hand off to number seven, Cameron Washington, and who will be brought down behind the line of scrimmage, resulting in fourth down. Well, let's see what the coaching staff will decide to do now. The Lions have been unable to pick up any first downs on fourth down yet tonight. They've only had a successful one or two fourth down conversions, so. If that. If that. It'll be fourth and nine for the Lions. Well, here's the moment of truth. Shucker takes a snap, looking deep downfield. Trenton Turner Almost just barely intercepted. misses the pass. Trenton Turner upset with himself, but I'm sure he'll bounce back some way. He still has and one once touchdown again, underneath the his Lions belt for tonight. Turn over the ball on downs. Well, I guess in their field position, it's not as bad as it could have been. And the Zebras will take over on first down at the 45-yard line. Takes a snap, finds number 11. Who will be brought down behind the line of scrimmage for a offensive loss? Yeah, it's not on her when she's texting the ball. But he didn't send it. It was that's I, 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 I was talking about the Flay Carpenter in on that tackle. Flay Carpenter in on the tackle. It'll be second and eleven on the forty-four for the Zebras. Zebras lead the Lions forty-six to twenty-eight. And our defense looks a little more spread out than it has been. Maybe they decided this is what they should do differently. Hopefully it works. We'll see. Simeon takes a snap. Look for a receiver. Oh, number, number 11. Number 11 Chris on Rucker the reception. Brings him down. 
And the ball will be placed at the 50-yard line. And number 11, Chris Rucker on that stop. It's going to be third down and five. It'll be third and five on the 54, the Lions. Let me get final thoughts. All right, guys, so final thoughts on the game so far. Fourth quarter, the Lions have to come out stronger and better. They're getting together on the fourth quarter, but now they have to come up for, they have to come out stronger and better. Mason Chuck has to throw better passes. I mean, there, there's no other way to say it. He has to throw better passes. So may the Lions get out here and win this game. Yeah. Thanks for that, Jake. And our third quarter, and that third quarter analysis is now gone. Back to just me and Noah for the night. And the Zebras' run did not result in a first down, but they are now fourth and four. But it looks like they will choose to punt the ball away. Very surprising that I can punt the ball on fourth down. I mean, go for it on fourth down. No, you're thinking the Lions, Noah. <laughs> well, the Zebras have gone for it on fourth down many a times, too. Yes, they have, but they have succeeded, whereas we have not. Very true. And the third quarter will end with the Zebras leading the Lions 46 to 28. And yes. that's the end of the third quarter. Well, for the start of the fourth quarter, the Lions will trail the Zebras 46 to 28. It'll be fourth and four on the 49 for the Zebras when play resumes. And you can hear the Cersei Lion Band getting ready to cheer on the Lions in this fourth quarter. And we're off with the fourth quarter. And the Zebras are down at the 50 with the ball. It'll be fourth and four. The Zebras in punt formation. Oh, it's going to oh. be a fake punt. And a Number complete. five oh, drop will drop pass. the ball. And oh. the Zebras will turn over the ball on the 49-yard line. Well, we were not line. expecting that. The punter, Dalvin Smith, came out, caught the ball, and then threw it to, number, to, to Demaria Wilkins. And we were not expecting that. Excuse me, Kamari Wilkins. <laughs> and it'll be first and 10 for the Lions on the 49-yard line. <laughs> and, uh, and there are and two flags, flags will be on, on the play. <laughs> and we have the YAMCA going in the stands, folks. The start against the Lions. And the and fans are going crazy for the YMCA Shucker song. Shucker looks down in the field for an open receiver. And he catches Throws number, number one. one. It was picked Tucker. off by number 18, Rod Stinson. Oh, that's and another turnover the for the Lions. But once again, the Lions turn over the ball. And the chances of them winning this game have become very yes, slim. They have second quarter Turner. He's just, something must have happened in the locker room that made him upset or maybe... His game's just off tonight. That was an impressive play, though, on the Zebras' part. It'll be first and ten for the Zebras on the Lions' 44-yard line. Oh. 
Shucker takes the snap. Oh, I'm my bad. Blair takes the snap. <laughs> Wrong team, Noah. Number and five, it looks like the Wilkins. Cersei Lions defense brings will almost down. pick up the first down. Good game, Good game. Good game for me. Second down and three for the Zebra. <laughs> And off to number six, oh, and who finds the first down. And the Pine Bluff Band has begun playing, but a very solemn song, it sounds. <laughs> and number six, Smith actually ran the ball that time, That's even though impressive. he's the punter. Yeah, they've been doing a lot of trick plays with him tonight. Third down and the fake the punt was a great start, though, for his coming out of the third quarter. And the Zebra Band is playing a very slow song. And the number one player will pick up the first down. It must be for the death of the Lions. <laughs> We're respecting that. It will be first and 10 for the Lions on the 33 yard line. No one. Blair takes the snap, quarterback keeper, and he will He's gain down a few button. yards. Up. Once again, number 43, whose name we do not know. <laughs> oh, is that 49? Maybe it was 49, Darius Gavin. <laughs> Don't. It'll be second and nine on a 31 for the Zebras. Blair and his quarterback Wilkins and his halfback has two wide receivers out for the left. Takes a snap, pants off number five. Who picks up? And there's a flag on the play. Around 15 yards, but there is a flag on the play. And the flag will be for offensive holding, so that'll push them back around 15 yards. And once again, we'll replay second down. Second down and 21 on the 42 for the Zebras. Player in as quarterback, two receivers out to the left, and his halfback in the backfield. Looks to the, the sideline for the offensive play call. Hoping to score once again on this line defense. It would be nice if we could get some plays that would stop their def offense from scoring again. Quarterback. Fake hand Drop off. pass for the pass. Deep throw. To Caught by number 11. 11 inside Smith. the 10-yard line. And he will score touchdown. another touchdown for the Zebras. Well, that certainly wasn't what the Lions needed for the rest of this game. At this point, the Lions just have to be thinking, what can we do to stop them? Yeah, and then, well, the only, the only thing they can do for the rest of this game is play hard and hope that something happens. The Lions now trail 52-28, to 28, a very high-scoring game. Hootens was incorrect on this, not for the way we would have hoped, but... And once again, they're going for the two-point conversion. There are flags on the play. False start on the offense. It'll push them back five yards. Happy 
North Theta, Diamond Mary, uh, Murray, all at state cheerleader. Band cheerful in this joyful win for the Pine Bluff Zebras. Close your eyes. Searching High School cheerleaders introduced as Madison Guthrie, captain. Co-captain Meg Brashear. The two-point conversion. And it looks like Claire Holden. Not going to be he was is going to be successful. Wow. What an incredible two-point conversion that was from Simeon Blair. And the Zebras now lead the Lions 54 to 28. <laughs> And the Lions will be back to receive the kickoff. Jackson Hall and Tony Young back to receive the kickoff. And the battle of the bands continues. Both bands playing at the same time. It is very loud here in Lions Stadium. And if you see Miss Bramlett tonight, wish her a happy birthday. And Jackson Hall will receive the kickoff. Looking for a right way to get around the Zebra special teams. And we brought down at around the 27 yard line. down in seven for the Lions on their own 24-yard line. The Lions have been unsuccessful in every play this offensive drive. And 14. Shucker drops back to pass and it'll be broken up by number 63 of the defense, Kevon Goins. And it will be fourth down. Flag 
like I'm a play. Let's see what this Lion offense has in store. Shucker and company going for it once again on fourth down. Fourth and nine. Let's see if they can do something different. <laughs> we have four receivers running downfield. Number 12, Trevor Rayburn's wide open, but Shucker did not see him. Well, the pass to Turner was complete. Where will they mark the, where, where will they mark the ball? The ball put into play. It'll be on the... And once again, the Lions turn the ball over, and the Zebras take possession. offense has their backups in as they have a 26 point lead on the Lions. Ball will be handed off and will be brought down around the 17-yard line. Number 14, Derek Sloan Jr. is in as quarterback for the Zebras since they have a 26-point lead on the Lions. And the Pine Bluff Band once again playing very loud as the refs talk. It looks like the ball will stay where it's at. Okay, they left, so now close. <laughs> and it'll be handed off once again to the number four, Braylon, Braylon Moody. Moody. And it will be third down. And the Cersei fans are so disgruntled by this loss that they couldn't even be bothered to stomp their feet on the bleachers, as the announcer asked. Just chose to prove how well, bad this game is. Since the Zebras have a 26 point lead, they put their backups in the game. Yep. Why not? Wow. It gives the backups great experience. Especially since the Lions probably will not win tonight. Uh, their hearts just aren't in the game anymore, and it's obvious by the way they're playing. Man. Moody on the run again. And the Zebra Band just continues and continues to play. Yes, indeed. It's just. I guess it gives them a great time to practice new sets and uh, show their pride for their school. And what might I say, they are very loud. Oh, they are. Hands off to number four, Braylon Moody, who will be brought down and around the 10 yard line. Number four, Moody on the run again. And once again, taking a while for them to set the game up, but it looks like they're getting on it now. Your Cersei defense is still being led by Peyton Fisher. Actually, it looks like they subbed out for Chase Hughes as their center. And, and a touchdown. 
touchdown. Once again, the zebra score. It looks like Cersei's put their backups in also. And so the zebras just continue the pound on the lion defense. Yes, they have. It'll be 60 to 28 zebras. And all hope for the Lions have basically gone away. Yes, they have. But all we can hope for is that our guys play hard and they still continue in this game. They just do the best that they can. Yes, indeed. So we have the Lions being led by Chase Hughes, number 57, and Darius Whitney. They're going for the two-point conversion. And, and for the first time tonight, they the will Lions not get it. The Lions defense has successfully blocked the two-point conversion. Maybe we should have saw some of this before. Well, now we, we trail the game 60 28. Yeah. 32 point deficit. What do you say again? What do you say again? I Show him the text he sent to Devin. What? I'll send him the text he sent to Devin. Jax, well, two backup kick returners were in the game. Tony yeah. Young and... And number four. Taj Franklin. And it's... Still looks as left. They're using Dalvin Smith as their kicker. Once again, an impressive young man. We've seen many unusual things from tonight. Tomorrow, from 8 a.m. until 5 p.m. on DD Caps at the sign. And the kick is off towards Taj Franklin. Who we'll receive the ball and go across the 20-yard line. But is brought. Oh, but it escapes the tackle from number 21, Wesley Hunt, and he still is going until he is brought down once again. Ty Franklin on the kickoff return. Stop well, the stands here tonight are clearing out as the hope of a Lion football victory is very slim. Very slim. We have just under four and a half minutes left in the quarter, and I don't see much happening. As we are down by 32 points. comes a Cersei band playing their first set that we've heard of in the fourth quarter. And it looks like number seven. Cameron Washington will have the handoff and will be brought down at around the 23 yard line. Yeah, and the Cersei parking lot well, all we see are cars leaving the stadium and people getting into their rides, probably ready to go eat a nice supper somewhere or go home and rest. Sugar takes a handoff, looking for a receiver deep down the field, and will be oh, picked okay. off by number 19, Ronald Rocket. Number 27, Ooh, Tim Williams down. thought he had that ball. He spun around like he was going to take off, only to realize the ball was not in his hands. And Rocket really brought down inside the 10-yard line and around the 6. And once again, the Zebras take over on fantastic field position. What is that, third or fourth interception of the night? Who knows? It's three-point shine. Three-point shine. Three-point shine. How many points? Most schools, most schools, I think it's, uh, I think we're just, uh, four points down. We're not, not going to win. I don't have to leave. Not to play the rest of the game now. Well, the backups in the game once again, hand off to the running back, Moody, who Dude, finds the end zone. For second touchdown of the night. And it's 66-28. And my thoughts are this game is over now. Yes, I think it's been over since the third quarter. The guys just couldn't come out, put their hearts into it, and it was obvious by the way they played. 
The Lions did do their best tonight, trying to stop them, but they just couldn't. Yes, uh, I guess that leaves them in a five and two season as of now, and we can only hope for a better game next week. Just to work on improving their defense and practice and doing it the best that they can. Oh, definitely. Moody gets the ball on two point conversion it's and good. it will stand. So now it is a 40 point lead for the Zebras. Point sidelines as the coaches are talking to their players and now our Cersei Lions are running back on the field. Well you can catch us again live in two weeks at the senior night here at Lions Stadium. We take on the Mountain Home Bombers here at 7 as always. You can find us on www.lionpress.com. Click on the Lion Watch Us Now logo and click on the live broadcast link. We hope to see you then. And if you're watching tonight, we greatly appreciate you. Yeah, thank you for all your support and pass it on. Let everybody else know all the great works that we're doing here. And the kick. And the kick to Tosh Franklin is good and he runs it up the sidelines and it's brought down at the 28. Maybe the 30. chance to see the Palm Bluff Band play, we highly recommend it. It was something you won't ever see anywhere else. It was quite unbelievable. It was fantastic. It really was. Everything from the marinettes, is that what they're called? To the, from the baton twirlers, drum majorettes, something, majorettes, that's the word I'm looking for. Everything from them to the dancers, it was amazing. And a flag will be thrown on the play. Ball start on the offense. And it'll be first and 15 with three minutes left. The Lions trail the Zebras by 40 points. They just look physically wore out down on the field. And that Zebra band is definitely very loud. Yes, it is. We have Martez Freeman leading the defense. And it looks like... He will be met at the line of scrimmage. Yes, he will. By quarterback number 14, Peyton Wright. Not only does Peyton Wright is a, not only does Peyton Wright kick off the games for us, but he's also a backup quarterback in case Shucker gets hurt or in case of a game like this, and you just think it'll be best to put in some more experience to give him some more experience. And the snap will be handed off to the halfback Tony Young, who will be brought down behind the line of scrimmage for a loss. Yes. Third and 13 for the Lions. Two minutes remain in the game. Peyton Wright in as quarterback. Number halfback. Looking for a receiver down the field. Hits Finds number 19, number 19 Gage, Gage Walker. Walker. First we've seen of Gage Walker this season. Or this game at least. Number 19, what? Gage Walker. And the clock keeps ticking down here at Lions Stadium. As the outcome, everyone knows what it is. The Lions will be defeated by the Zebras, inevitably yes. right now, as they are down by 40 points. Takes snap, looks for Walker once again, and he catches the ball and picks up the first down. Back on the 35. Don Hughes, Thompson. Huh? Tony Young. 
50 seconds left in the game. It'll be second down and 10 on the 49 for the Lions. And it looks as if Martez Freeman is still leading the Lions at the defensive line. And Peyton Wright just overshoots his receivers. And the clock keeps ticking as it hits 30 seconds. A reminder that the Park Avenue Baptist Church and Valley Baptist and the Gathering Place will have... Once again, Peyton Wright with the snap. And it's intercepted, uh, intercepted by number 35. By number 35. Duh. I do not want to butcher his name, but number 35, Thomas. And that will end the game for the Lions as they fall to the uh, Zebras, 68 to 28. And that's the ball game. Well, maybe catch us next time on Lion TV. Until then, I'm Sydney Bryant. And I'm Noah Summerland. Have a great night. We hope to see you soon again. We'd like to wish.